Lovely. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Patrick Tevo, the CEO and co-founder of, uh, of Flyability. Uh, Flyability is a company building drones for the inspection of uh, inaccessible and uh, complex uh, spaces. So basically, Flyability has grown uh, quite a bit. All right. There we go. Has grown a lot in about three, three and a half years. So we went from uh, two co-founders in the university to uh, uh, now a 70 people uh, company. Uh, with uh, six and a half million raised, uh, um, we achieved six million in revenues last year, coming from two millions the year before and 0 0.2 millions the year uh, uh, before that. Um, and we're really dedicated to this idea of, um, of building robots that can uh, allow the inspection and the exploration of those complex uh, indoor spaces. Basically, as we were studying robotics uh, in, the, in the university, we were witnessing um, disasters such as Fukushima, such as the uh, Haiti uh, uh, earthquake, and looking at the inability of robotic solutions to be able to provide a relevant solution to those problems uh, was a big pain for us. Um, the, the problem behind that is the high need for versatility in those uh, very complex and deconstructed uh, environments uh, and robots are not very good at coping with the uh, with uh, with those destructured environments. So, so this is why we really focused on developing flying robots. Flying being the most efficient way to be able to navigate in those complex spaces, um, but we needed to build one which was tolerant to the environment, tolerant to collisions, able to see in the dark, in the dust, and in those very rough terrains. So this is uh, basically what came out of this, uh, of this PhD thesis. Um, uh, it's our first product, Ilios, which was launched about a year and a half ago, uh, which is this collision-tolerant, uh, uh, highly patented uh, uh, flying robot made for indoor spaces with all the different sensors and uh, communication features that allow it to uh, navigate in those areas, making it a completely unique a product on the market, so right now, uh, flyability does not have a direct competition in terms of a flying robot addressing the same areas, but we're more competing against very traditional ways of, uh, of uh, accessing those places, which is scaffolding, rope access, or, or bucket trucks. We are working with over 300 customers at the moment. Our biggest market is in, uh, is in power generation, where we work with uh, nuclear industry, uh, thermal power plants, but also renewables. Uh, the second one being uh, oil and gas, chemicals, and maritimes, where we assist uh, ship owners, um, uh, oil and gas majors, as well as service companies to perform better inspections inside, uh, inside boats, inside tanks, inside refineries. And interestingly, we work with both end users, which have those very expensive assets to maintain, and inspection companies, service companies, who are uh, uh, providing the, uh, uh, the uh, drone operation to those, uh, to those uh, players. Our market is about 40% um, um, in North America, 40% uh, of Europe, and uh, we are witnessing at the moment very, very strong growth in, uh, in uh, Asia, China in particular. What we're bringing those customers are those three very important points. And uh, with the, the number of, of corporate VCs in this, uh, in this room, I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with it. First of all, improving safety, reducing downtime, and finally, reducing the cost of inspection by avoiding using those very expensive uh, access methods that I, um, that I described. To give you a precise idea of what it looks like, here we, we have one use case of a, uh, of a, of a boiler inside a coal, uh, coal power plant. Um, what we're looking at there is the superheater of the boiler, so uh, a complex uh, array of tubes that require inspection. Uh, in this particular case, the customer had found some metallic parts at the bottom of his boiler when he opened the door, and uh, he needed to assess uh, where they were coming from and if it was possible to, to put this boiler back online or if it needed a full shutdown. This is what it looks like. So this is about 100 meter. The conditions are horrible. It's really full of dust. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, much darker than it looks on the picture. And, uh, and uh, it would have required about a week in scaffolding to go up there and to perform this inspection uh, with the associated downtime. And this customer was in a very particular situation because, uh, because uh, um, a few years earlier, they had scaffolded this bowler. 
and the, the, the scaffolding had collapsed and five workers died in this, uh, in this particular instance. So, so there, was, there was definitely all those three aspects uh, uh, of the value proposition that were very strongly present. Um, this is the images that you get, so very high resolution pictures of those places that are, um, uh, that are completely inaccessible without this type of tools. And it results in the customer for about one full day of downtime, which can be absolutely huge in terms of a, of a, of a power plant. Uh, uh, high cost savings, as well as the safety improvement, which very often for our customers is the number one argument to adopting a technology like, uh, like ours. So going forward, um, now uh, flyability is um, um, continuing to, uh, uh, to um, aims at continuing to lead this market of indoor inspection that we have pioneered. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge segment that we estimate over, over $4 billion. Uh, we're developing both hardware and software solutions uh, to, uh, to adapt to the specifics of this market, uh, going in the direction of, of, a, of a smarter and more automated drone. And finally, uh, working on the business models that allow us to, to vertically integrate once uh, our hardware has allowed us to uh, put our foot uh, in the doors. We are currently raising our Series B, um, and uh, one year and a half after our, our, our Series A, to fund our growth, to fund our investment in the uh, enabling technologies that will allow us to bring a fully automated uh, indoor drone to the, to the market. And uh, I'd be very happy to hear from you. Thank you.